What if Wonder Woman, the champion of truth, was caught in a web of lies? Ooh, that's a good one. Welcome to Cosmic Comic Clips Deep Dive, where we explore the most captivating stories in the comic book universe. Right. Today, we're diving deep into Wonder Woman number three. Yeah. An issue that throws everything we thought we knew about Diana into question. Really does. I mean, this issue throws us right into the heart of the conflict. Absolutely. Wonder Woman is now a fugitive. She is. Accused of terrible crimes, and the world has turned against her. Yeah, they're not pulling any punches in this one. It's a stark contrast to the hero we're used to seeing. Right. Even her former allies, like Commander Steel, uh -huh. are now on her trail, convinced of her guilt. Well, you can't really blame them, can you? With everything that's happened, I mean, the evidence seems pretty damning. Right, but it's just... It's so hard to believe that she could be capable of these things. I know. I get it. It's yeah. Wonder Woman we're talking about here. Yeah. But that's what makes this story so compelling. Right. It forces us to question our assumptions about who she is and what she stands for. What's particularly striking, I think, is how this distrust has seeped into every aspect of her life. Oh, yeah. It's everywhere. Even Steve Trevor, her former love, yeah. is caught in the crosshairs, forced to question everything he thought he knew about her. It's heartbreaking, honestly, to see them like this. Two people who once cared so deeply for each other are now on opposite sides of this huge conflict. Their confrontation is definitely one of the most emotionally charged moments in the issue. Oh, for sure. You can just feel the tension yeah. and heartbreak as they face off each struggling with their own sense of duty. And betrayal. Right. I mean, imagine being in Steve Trevor's shoes. <sighs> Having to confront the woman you love, knowing that she might be responsible for these terrible acts. It speaks to the deeper theme of how easily trust can be shattered. Right. Especially when it's fueled by misinformation and manipulation. Uh -huh. And lurking in the shadows of this unfolding drama is the Sovereign. Ah, yes. The Sovereign. This mysterious figure who seems to be pulling the strings, orchestrating events to discredit Wonder Woman. The Puppet Master. Who is this Sovereign? That's the million dollar question, isn't it? We still don't know much about them. Right. Their motives are completely shrouded in mystery. The Sovereign is a fascinating enigma. They really are. Their motives are still unclear, but their influence is undeniable. Oh, absolutely. They're clearly a master manipulator able to turn public opinion against Wonder Woman. With terrifying effectiveness. With terrifying effectiveness, yeah. It's like they've tapped into something primal, something that makes people want to believe the worst about her. Their strategy is chillingly effective. Yeah, no kidding. By casting doubt on Wonder Woman's integrity, they are essentially dismantling her power base. Exactly. Isolating her from the very people she's sworn to protect. It's a classic divide and conquer strategy. And then there's the bombshell revelation about the lasso of lies. Oh yeah, we've got to talk about that. It turns out it's not simply a tool to compel truth but something far more sinister. Right. I mean, wow. This is where things get really interesting. So the lasso of lies, it's not just about revealing the truth. Not necessarily, no. But it can actually manipulate perception. That seems to be the case, yeah. I mean, that changes everything. It does. If the lasso can actually manipulate perception, who's to say any confession obtained with it was truly genuine? Right. It casts a shadow of doubt over Wonder Woman's entire history. And not just her history, but the history of everyone she's ever interacted with using the lasso. It really makes you wonder if even Wonder Woman is immune to manipulation. That's the scary part, isn't it? If someone could control the lasso, they could control Wonder Woman. Is she a victim of the lasso's power herself? It's possible. We've seen hints in this issue that even she might not be fully aware of the lasso's true nature. It's a chilling thought. Yeah, no kidding. And to add another layer of intrigue, the issue introduces the idea that there's a soldier out there who unknowingly holds the key to defeating Wonder Woman. A soldier. Yeah, a soldier. It's this little throwaway line, mm. but it's clearly setting something up. So we have this mysterious soldier who can apparently defeat Wonder Woman. This little detail is such a great hook. It definitely is. Who is this soldier? And what makes them so vulnerable to Wonder Woman? It's a mystery that keeps you on the edge of your seat. Absolutely. And it's just one of the many threads that the writers are weaving together in this story. Eager to find out more. I can't wait to see where they go with it. And then just when you think the story couldn't get any more complex. Right. We're introduced to Wonder Woman's daughter, Trinity. 
Oh yeah, Trinity. The appearance of Trinity in a backup story is a game changer. It definitely adds a whole new dimension to the story. It raises so many questions. Yeah. What role will she play in all of this? Will she become a target for the Sovereign? And how will Wonder Woman react to having a daughter in this incredibly dangerous and uncertain world? Her arrival injects a whole new level of emotional complexity into the narrative. For sure. It forces Wonder Woman to confront not only the immediate threat to her reputation, uh -huh. but also the legacy she wants to leave for her daughter. It's a reminder that her actions have consequences, not just for herself, but for the people she cares about. And it highlights the theme of family. Oh, absolutely. Which has always been central to Wonder Woman's story. Yeah. It makes her struggle all the more personal and relatable. It definitely raises the stakes. This issue is masterful in how it weaves together these different threads. It really is. The action, the mystery, the emotional turmoil. The political intrigue. Right, and the larger thematic questions about truth power. And responsibility. One scene that really stuck with me is the visual of Wonder Woman lassoing a fighter jet. Oh, that's a classic Wonder Woman moment. In midair. Talk about a powerful image. Yeah, I mean. It perfectly captures her strength and determination. It showcases her incredible strength. Yeah. And determination to get to the bottom of this conspiracy against her. And it's not just physical strength. Right. It's also her willpower. Her will. Her refusal to be intimidated or silenced. It's as if she's literally pulling down the forces that are trying to bring her down. Exactly. It's such a striking contrast to the next scene where we see her walking through the city. Yeah, that's a great juxtaposition. Lost in thought, almost vulnerable. It shows the toll that all of this is taking on her. That juxtaposition of strength and vulnerability is incredibly effective. It is. It reminds us that even the most powerful heroes have moments of doubt. Have moments of doubt and uncertainty. They're human too, you know. Oh. And then there's that tense scene in the evidence locker where Commander Steele confronts Steve Trevor. Oh man, that scene is heavy. It's such a heavy, emotionally charged moment. Yeah, you can cut the tension with a knife. You can practically feel the weight of history. Mm -hmm. Pressing down on them as they stand there. Yeah. Surrounded by remnants of past battles. It's like the past is coming back to haunt them. It highlights the long and complicated relationship between Wonder Woman and the human world. A relationship that's now hanging by a thread. It really underscores how much is at stake in this conflict. Absolutely. Not just Wonder Woman's reputation, but also the, the fragile trust between humans and Amazons. The stakes couldn't be higher. And Steve Trevor's inner turmoil adds another layer of complexity. Oh, yeah. He's really torn. He's clearly torn between his duty to his country uh -huh. and his lingering feelings for Diana. He's in an impossible situation. You can see the pain and confusion in his eyes as he struggles to reconcile his memories of the Wonder Woman he knew with the accusations being leveled against her. It's like he's losing his faith in everything he ever believed in. It's a perfect example of how the Sovereign's manipulation has created a ripple effect. Yeah, like a virus spreading through the world. Sowing distrust and discord, even among those who were once closest to Wonder Woman. It's a brilliant but insidious strategy. This whole idea that Wonder Woman is made of clay. Yeah, where did they come up with that? Really threw me for a loop. I know, right? It comes out of nowhere. It suggests a potential vulnerability, a way she could be manipulated. Like a built-in weakness. That we've never considered before. It makes you wonder if whoever created her right. knew about this weakness. It's a fascinating twist that adds a whole new dimension to her character. It does. It makes you question just how much control she truly has over her own destiny. If she could be controlled or manipulated without even realizing it. It's like a crack in her armor. Yeah. A hint that even she might have a weakness that can be exploited. And in the wrong hands, that weakness could be devastating. And it makes the stakes even higher, knowing that the fate of the world might hinge on this one vulnerability. It's a brilliant move by the writers. Right. Introducing this element of uncertainty. It keeps us guessing. And makes the story all the more unpredictable. I can't wait to see how Wonder Woman navigates this web of deceit and proves her innocence. Me too. And I'm especially curious to see how this whole clay thing plays out. Could this be her downfall? Or will she find a way to turn it to her advantage? We'll have to wait and see. Yeah, I'm on the edge of my seat. Me too. Makes you wonder, right? What happens to a hero when their whole identity is shaken like that? Can they still be a symbol of truth if they're struggling with doubt themselves? This is where Wonder Woman number three really shines. It goes beyond just the superhero action. 
dives into what it means to be a hero facing a crisis of faith. Yeah, we see Wonder Woman not just fighting bad guys, but also fighting her own inner demons. Right, the accusations, the betrayals, that whole thing about the lasso of lies that's taken a toll. Forcing her to question everything. It's tough to see someone so strong now, so vulnerable. That panel where she's just standing in the city, lost in thought, it says it all. Yeah, it's a great visual, shows how isolated she feels. But even then, you see that flicker of defiance, that unyielding spirit. Like when she confronts Commander Steel, lasso in hand. Not just strength. It's a declaration. He's not giving up. Exactly. That image, Wonder Woman between the sky and the city, using her lasso almost like a lifeline, it's powerful. And speaking of powerful imagery, that evidence locker scene. La. Commander Steel, Steve Trevor, surrounded by relics of past battles. You can feel the weight of history there. It shows how complex the relationship is between Wonder Woman and the world she protects. A world ready to condemn her. And Steve Trevor caught in the middle. It's tragic. He's trying to reconcile his memories with these accusations. Mm -hmm. The toll it's taking on him is huge. His conflict adds so much to the story. This isn't just about Wonder Woman. It's affecting everyone around her, tearing them apart. Then you add Wonder Woman's daughter, Trinity, in the backup story. Throws another wrench into things. What's her role going to be? Will she be a target? It makes you think about the world she's coming into. Even the greatest heroes can be brought down. As another level of responsibility for Wonder Woman, not just her reputation, but the future. The world her daughter will inherit. And that soldier who can defeat her, still hanging out there. Like a ticking time bomb. Who is this person? How will the Sovereign use them? The writers have done a great job with all these different threads. Action, intrigue, emotion, it's all there. What gets me is how they use visuals to tell the story. That panel of Wonder Woman pulling down the jet. Yeah, more than just strength. It's like she's pulling down the lies. Exactly. That refusal to be broken. Then right after, she's walking through the city, lost in thought. The contrast is what makes it work. Strength, but vulnerability. It reminds us that even the strongest can be weighed down. But in that vulnerability, you see her true character. Not that she's immune to it, it's that she keeps fighting, even when the whole world is against her. That's what makes her such a compelling character. Even when faced with so much doubt, she never loses sight of what's right. A true hero. Not about being invincible, but having the courage to fight for what's right no matter what. This issue, though, it leaves us with more questions than answers. Who is the Sovereign? What do they want? How does Wonder Woman clear her name? And what about Trinity? The Sovereign is the big mystery. They're able to manipulate things on a global scale. Motives are still unclear, but they've turned the whole world against her. It's going to be tough to beat them. And we still have that soldier hanging over everything. It adds so much suspense. Hmm. Is this soldier working with the Sovereign? What makes them so vulnerable to Wonder Woman? Wonder Woman number three is more than just a superhero comic, you know? It's about trust, betrayal, the fight for truth. Especially in a world where things can be so easily manipulated, like we see all the time. It makes you think about how we decide what's true. Yeah, be critical thinkers. Question what you see, what you hear. Stand up for what you believe in. Wonder Woman's fight is kind of like our own fight. Figuring out what's real, what's not. Dealing with all this misinformation. So for all of you listening out there, remember that even Wonder Woman can be manipulated. Makes you realize we all need to be careful. Question what we're told. Don't just accept what you see. Dig deeper, look for different perspectives, and always be ready to fight for what's right, even when it's hard. Wonder Woman's story isn't over yet, and we'll be here to see how she gets through this stronger than ever. And until then, let's all remember what Wonder Woman represents. Courage, compassion, and never giving up on the truth. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to Cosmic Comic Clips for more deep dives into the world of comics.